Welcome to the Ghost Rat channel. My name is JB and welcome to my third advanced tutorial for SCARM. Uh, if you haven't had a chance yet to look at my earlier tutorials, I suggest you take a look at them. They will explain how to create the dimensions of your layout known as baseboard, how to construct buildings, and then I would also recommend taking a look at Rude's uh, tutorials. He explains how to lay track in his. In my third tutorial, I am going to show you how to put roads on your layout. And I'm also going to show you how to build a railroad crossing. Uh, building roads is very similar to laying track and working with flex track. So to get your roads, you click on the down key there for the libraries. And then scroll all the way down to objects and then you see roads is one of the objects that you can select so now over here on the left side of my screen i have all the different road options i can build a simple two-lane road i can build a crosswalk intersection adapter sections i can build a boulevard and then i also have these end pieces and adapter pieces so to begin with, uh, let's just start with a simple two-lane road. So you'll need to set up a start point just like you when you were laying track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to design a road. It's going to come over here from this part of my layout. It's going to come over here, go in front of the railroad station. Then it's going to go over to this corner. And then I'll have a third road come in and make an intersection here. So that's what I'm going to draw. So why don't we start out with the intersection? That'll be our first thing. So let's make the intersection right about here. Okay, so I have my start point. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to select intersection. Uh, you have the option if you want to make it a roundabout. You can. I don't, so I'm not going to click on that and click OK. So now I have an intersection. Now since my intersection is only going to have three roads coming to it, I don't really need this part sticking out. So I'll click this down arrow, go over to the library, road end, and there you go. So now I have a three-way intersection. So let's start by laying down a piece of road. Uh, the road segments, the big road segments, are going to lay down just like flex track. So you're going to want to have your flex track tool ready to go. So click on tools, toolbox, and click the little down arrow here and have the flex track tool ready to go. So I'm going to click on the road segment here. It gives you the option. Uh, you can either have a single dash line, a single solid line, or a double solid line. So depending on if you're trying to design uh, roads in the US, Europe, or Asia, that gives you the different styles depending on how roads are constructed, where your layout takes place. I'm going to leave just a single dash line. Okay. And then now you can see this is acting just like a piece of flex track. So let's I'll have the road kind of go over here, start to curve a little bit. Click. And I'll have it come to about here. Click. And I'm actually going to start a new piece. So fix to cut that off. And then click a new piece. Okay, for dash lines. And then I'll have this road come to about there at the very edge of my board. And then select fix. That ends it off, and then to get rid of that red arrow, I go to road end, and now I have the end of my road. So it goes to the very edge of my layout, crosses over these tracks, comes here to this intersection. Now I'm going to build the road that goes from here to over that side of the layout. So go back to road, click OK, and I'm going to have this start to curve up, start to angle, another piece, OK. 
And have it go to about right there. We'll have it curve over and then have it go to the very edge of the layout and then fix. And then I will put road end there. And then now I will make the third road. Make sure that's highlighted. Select road. And this one will have it go like that. And start to curve there. Another piece. Okay. And have that go just over the tracks. And then I will have that end right there on the edge of my layout. There you go, get it completely horizontal. Fix to cut it off, and then click on road end. So now I have a basic road system on my board. And if I go to 3D, there's the roads. Now you'll notice that the track is covering up the road uh, at the places that it intersects. So if you wanna make this look like a real railroad crossing, we're going to have to adjust the height of the road so that it's just the right height that it's at the level of the track. So I'll close that out. So to do that, let's zoom in on one section. So we'll start over here. Uh, the road only lifts up if you're, con um, if you're familiar with the height tool which uh, hopefully you are if you already looked at the tutorials on building track, you're gonna use the same height tool for building your roads. And when you do this, it's only gonna move one piece of the road. So let's say I want a segment of road that's right over the rails right here, and another segment of road that's right over the rails here, so that only these move and not the entire piece of road. To do that, it's really easy. Just select on the road, Put your cursor about where you'd want the road to split into two parts. Right click, and then click where it says split, and now I have split the road. I'll do the same thing over here. Right click, split, and now I have a split road here. And then what I can do is then click on the road, and then click over on the height tool. So now it's showing the height of my roads based off of the board level. And I will click on there, and then using the roller wheel on my mouse, I will roll up, and I am going to roll up to 0.2 inches. Uh, in inches, that seems to be about the correct height to have the road cross over the rails. And now I need to go over here and do it to this end of the road, up to 0.2. And then I also need to do that with this road here. All right, now click off of that. So now when I go to 3D, you can see that the roads are now intersecting at the rail point. So you actually have the rails and then the road going over the top of it, just like that, okay? Now let's say you wanna build a railroad gate or barrier. Um, that you'll have to custom build, which it's not that difficult. Uh, go back over to your libraries, click on figures, and then here you can just use the rectangles. Um, so I'm gonna zoom in real close here. I'm gonna make it all on the horizontal and just rotate it so it's real easy. So first I'm gonna make a little teeny tiny rectangle like that. I give it a height of, let's say, half inch. And then we'll keep the vertical position at zero. And then we'll make it like it's a wood post holding up the railroad crossing gate. So we'll make it brown. Okay. Okay. And we'll zoom in and let's make it just slightly bigger. There we go. And I'll go to 3D just to check the size. That yeah, looks about right. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the gate part. So click on the rectangle here and let's have the gate go out about that far that looks good okay we want the vertical position to be up a little bit so we made that a half inch so let's make this uh, 0.3 inches 
and we'll give it a height of a fifth of an inch or 0.2 inches and then we'll just for now leave that white okay okay and then let's center it so I'm gonna click and drag it over uh, it doesn't appear to want to let me center in this one let's see if I zoom in a little bit it might let me move it a little bit more yeah, it appears that that's just the way it's gonna be okay so now if I go to 3d you can see I have this railroad crossing gate. It's actually a little bit too thick, so we can thin it out, and it should probably be a little bit longer too. So we'll make it longer, line it out so it's a little more even, and then I will right click to get the properties, and let's make it just a tenth of an inch. Okay, back to 3D view. Okay, that looks a lot better. Now I can just select everything and then I will group it so it's all one piece. Group. And then now I will control C and control V. Click on one. And now I have two gates. And then now I can position them on my road. So I'll zoom out a little bit. Click on that gate. And I'm going to assume that we are driving on the right side of the road. So this gate would go here. And then this one. Oops. Gotta zoom in a little bit to select it. Drag that over here. Zoom out. Zoom in over here. Select that. Control. To drag so that's right there and now I'm just gonna rotate it so rotate it okay and drag it like that Go over to this one and rotate that Okay, and we'll drag that into position there. And if I go to 3D view, I now have two simple railroad crossing gates. And then I can repeat all of this to build the railroad crossings over here and over here. So that's the basics of building roads. If you want to build the boulevards, it's pretty much the exact same as doing the two-lane road. So go back to roads, and then you can use uh, these pieces. Uh, I don't have a start point. Um, and then, just to show you, I'm going to delete it, but just so you can see what that looks like. So then you have that. Here's your road. Just again, it's like a piece of flex track. Flex, fix. Um, if you want to split it so that it goes into a two-lane road, then you can use this piece right here. And then see how there's two? So now you can attach a segment of road like that. And then you can click on this start point and attach a segment of road like that. So do that so if you want to like maybe design like a highway if you had a highway going through your layout or something like that that's how you could do that uh, so that's pretty much the basics of building roads thanks for watching in my next tutorial I will explain how to create terrain and basic scenery